Hiya, it's Danny, and today I'm going to do a video called Getting Older Expectations versus Reality. It was my birthday yesterday and that's like prompted us to do this video. I've sort of been aware of my age more from when I hit about 25 and I've kind of been really conscious in the back of my mind since then and sort of going into 26, 27, 28 and 29 yesterday um, I feel like I've been pretty harsh on myself and I think a lot of my friends do this as well. I haven't spoken to people like really in depth about it. I have kind of had like a good bit of feedback um, on Instagram recently about it though and you know sort of about people's feelings towards themselves getting older and where you think you should be in your life by a certain age and things like that. So I thought I'll do a little video about it as kind of a form of like therapy for myself. Hope you don't mind being me, uh, me psychiatrist. <laughs> okay, so I've written like five points um, about th these expectations that I definitely had of myself when I reached sort of th uh, 39. Oh my god, no. <laughs> I don't even want to think about 39 now. 29. <laughs> Shit. It's gonna happen, isn't it? Oh my god. Yeah, these were like some of the expectations that I had of myself looking back to when I was maybe like 14 or 15 still like in high school these were some of the things that I just assumed were gonna happen when I got older I didn't know how I thought it was just the done thing I'm kind of guessing that these are gonna be similar to a lot of other people's but they might differ number one you will be cleverer than you were when you were younger that's not a massive one I'm not like that bothered about that but it is a, a very big thing, I thought, when I was younger. I thought adults are all clever because I'd only ever really interacted with my parents who are, like, intelligent and can get by and they're proper grown-ups and things and teachers who are obviously, like, really intelligent in the subjects that they teach. Not necessarily socially, but, uh, yeah. Um, and I found that I'm so much thicker than I was at school. I just assumed I would like carry the knowledge with us that I like acquired when I was at school. Um, and I just totally haven't. I wouldn't even like to think if I tried to sit my GCSEs or even my A-levels now, I would do so badly. And at the time when I did sit them, I got like really good grades. I think the lowest grade I ever got was like a C. And I felt like, I felt bad about that. But if I did that now, I'd be like, so fucking proud of myself. So yeah, that's a one. And I think it's kind of normal, I think. People better not turn around and say like, oh, well, I'm actually 55 million times more clever than I was at school. Oh, see, that just shows how thick I am. <laughs> oh my God. No, I wouldn't say I'm thick. I, I know stuff about stuff that I like. And I think that's one of the things about getting older. You have to kind of prioritise what, like, information you retain and what you don't. Like, I don't know anything about maths. Um, whoa, massive pigeon just flew past the window. Maths I've always been, like, pretty bad at. But I'm even worse now because I don't practice. Why would I want to practice though? Because it's shit and I hate it. But yeah, basically it's okay to not be like that clever anymore because you don't need to be, which is good. <laughs> kind of. Apart from embarrassing yourself all over the internet. Number two, you'll be in the career of your choice by now, this age, 29, nearly 30. Like, well, 30 in a year, but it's practically 30. I always thought like right up until finishing university, and I finished there like, ooh, six years ago. I thought you just kind of automatically went into the career that you, you'd always wanted. And that is so sadly not the case. <laughs> um, and again, I'm not alone in the fact that this hasn't happened. Um, I literally wanted to be a fashion designer since I was tiny since I knew what a job was I wanted to be a fashion designer. I've always enjoyed drawing and mainly designing and like clothes and accessories and things like that I just get so excited about. So I went on to study fashion design at university and just had such a breakdown over it. It was unreal. It, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought. I obviously finished the course and graduated 
because I, I don't like to sort of stop things and leave them half done. But yeah, I didn't enjoy it and I, I don't think I want to be a fashion designer at all. Nobody really said after uni that like basically if you want a job like that you've got to move to London. I know it, it sounds really silly now to think about it because obviously that's where everybody is for like creative industries. It's London, it's like Manchester possibly or like big cities like that. It's it's not usually Newcastle and I didn't want to move away. Um, and I mean, that's why I started doing my jewellery range um, and I set up Bubblegum Vegas after graduating. And that was still with a view to doing fashion eventually. And then I sort of had to admit to myself that I didn't really want to go into it. And it was quite hard doing that because of how much money had been spent on uni, on college, um, on school. And it is kind of hard to like admit to yourself that you've changed your mind about what you thought you wanted to do for your entire life. And I know I'm not the only person in this situation. I know lots of people who aren't in the subject that they graduated in at all. They're doing something completely different. Um, and some of them enjoy it. Some of them are still striving to sort of get to the career that they did want originally. But I think in general, it's okay. Don't beat yourself up if you're not in that career choice because you do have to ask yourself, do you really want it? If you do, fair enough, like go for it, you have to seek it out, it doesn't just happen the way I thought it was kind of gonna. Um, but if you change your mind, that's totally fine. Um, I know a lot of people who are older than me who still don't really know what job they want. And apparently that's normal. I didn't used to think it was when I was younger. I thought like, you know, you knew at a certain age, you went into the job and that was it, you loved it. And that was it until you retired. Life is just not that simple. <laughs> Number three, um, you'll have a car. No, sorry, I don't have a car. <laughs> I learned to drive after I'd finished high school and I went to college. I wanted to get my exams out of the way and then I thought, right, I can concentrate on driving then. I drove for about a summer, just borrowing my mum's car. And then I went to uni in town, like in Newcastle. And I lived in Newcastle. And since then I've always been within walking distance of Newcastle and I haven't needed a car. It is something that I still kind of beat myself up about because I think like, oh, if you've got a car, you've made it. Like, you're a proper grown up. My little sister's got a car, but she needs it. She does a lot of work, where she, it involves a lot of driving. I don't, I work in the city center and I live like 15 minutes away. I don't need a car. And I do have to keep reminding myself that just because I don't have one doesn't mean I've like failed of being a grown-up because I don't really need it. And I know this does sound like I'm trying to convince myself <laughs> because I kind of am. If somebody gave us a car, then no, I wouldn't bloody turn it down. I do think I really have to work at trying to forgive myself for not being at that point yet. I think if I lived outside of town, then I would sort of make sure I had money for a car because it would be necessary. But as it is, the bits of money that I do get, I spend on shoes and cheap makeup. <laughs> Number four, you'll be married with a family. And when I was younger, I always thought that I would definitely be married and possibly have at least one child by like 26. And looking back at that age, like 26 is so young. I know a lot of people who have had um, kids and have been married younger than that. And that's fine if that's for you, but it turns out that it's not actually for me. I am engaged. Me and Mitch got engaged a couple of years ago. But it's more sort of like dictated by your finances. Like once you get older, you realise that. And because we don't have the money to have the wedding that we want yet, we're not married yet. Again, with the kids thing, I've realised I don't actually want kids. I thought that was just a thing that would happen. And, you know, if you had the ability to have children, then you probably should. But since I've grown up and realised that, like, I like to have my time to myself, um, I can barely look after myself, to be honest. So how the hell would I look after a kid? The only reason I would like having a kid would be to dress it up and buy it, like, little tiny shoes and things. And that is no reason to have a kid. If you're in the same position as me and you kind of thought that's where you would be right now, if you still want that, fair enough. If you don't, it's okay. That's absolutely fine. And number five, you will have your shit together. And I think every other point <laughs> that I've talked about in this video has illustrated that I really don't have me shit together. Um, it's just 
one of those things, yeah, that you, you just assume when you're younger, you're going to get to a certain age and you're not going to have any more doubts about your life. You're sort of going to know where you're headed. You're going to have things set in place. You're going to be secure. And that's seriously not always the case. It's quite rare among people my age now. Um, I know maybe a handful, like literally maybe five people who are in like a proper career have a car, have a house, like a mortgage, possibly a baby, and kind of look like they've got the shit together. But the more people I speak to, um, the majority of them really don't have the shit together at all. And I do look at older people and think, when I'm that age, I'll know what I'm doing with my life, surely. But to be honest, I don't think I will. I don't think anybody's ever gonna be really secure in the knowledge that they know exactly what they're doing in any aspect of their life because there's so many things that are just around the corner and you never know what's gonna happen. Just as you think you've sort of got one thing sorted, your circumstances might change and everything's sort of up in the air again. So basically, <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna be a very positive video or not. I don't know if like younger people are gonna watch this and think like, oh, I've got no fucking hope. I might as well just jump out the window now. <laughs> I really don't want anyone to think that. I just kind of want people to think that it's okay not to be where you thought you were gonna be when you were younger. Like all these things that I thought was gonna happen to us when I was like 14, that was so many years ago. And I thought a lot of things when I was that age that either are a little bit misguided or untrue or just downright stupid. If you haven't met your own expectations, maybe reassess those expectations um, and don't beat yourself up about it because it's not worth it. If somebody else was saying this to me, if one of my friends was saying, yeah, but Danny, I don't have a car yet and like, I thought I'd be married by now. I would genuinely say to them, do you need those things? Do you want those things? Are you upset about it because you're comparing yourself to other people or comparing yourself to the vision of you that you had 12 years ago or whatever? I don't really know where this is going now. I do hope it's kind of helped somebody out there though. I feel like it has helped me a little bit to sort of discuss this through with a camera. <laughs> I think we all need to sort of give ourselves a bit more of a break now and then and stop thinking you're a failure and stuff like that because you're not and I'm not even though I do have a lot of days where I think that I am. I'm really not. I'm in like a job that I really do love. Yeah, it's not a full-time job, but I don't actually want a full-time job. That's just like one example of the things that I, I do have versus what I thought I was gonna have. And I am actually happier with what I've got than I think if I was in the position that I thought I was gonna be in, if that makes any sense. Please let us know if you have these thoughts or doubts about yourself as well. Give us a little comment and um, let us know if you agree with any of the points I've discussed. And I hope this hasn't been too boring and like what for you. I hope. Sorry if it has. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.